Has there ever been a better time to build or unfortunately kill, kill. loyalty? Uh, it picks up on one item that they still feel, and especially in today, mostly online, most dangerous or the most damaging problems were related to the returns process. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's because we don't know how to do it. We don't know how to deal with it. We walk into our retail stores and we have a no questions. Okay. We should walk into our stores and have a no questions asked return policy. And we don't do that. We make it difficult for our customers. And that frustrates your customer. And when your customer's frustrated, even when they get what they want, it comes at a level of frustration. And we've totally screwed this up. We went to online so fast, never knew how to deal with returns. You know, in our stores, when we're talking about apparel, you know, we're in the dressing room with them. We're in the change room with them. You know, we get them, our goal is to get them naked in the dressing room. If we can get them half naked, I mean, we win, we win, they trust us. You don't have that same trust level online. And so people are buying maybe a little bit more impulsively, and then buyer's remorse sets in when those three boxes eventually show up. Yep. It's half there and half not there. The customer gets pissed off, sends it all back, and we don't know how to deal with it. And that's not about, I mean, this is, this is what kills customer loyalty. My inability to deliver on a promise I made. I, on a promise I made, I will, that's a promise. I will ship this tomorrow, that's a promise. So you talk about no questions asked, what, yeah. what's the timelines look like on that, Dan? Do you tell me what it should look like, Rob? If, you want, if you're unhappy with something, should you have to do a somersault to correct it? Do you want my loyalty? Don't ask me questions. Am I gonna take advantage of you? If I'm that one in a hundred, I might, right? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me three times, I need to get my head out of my ass. Yeah. But I, I don't want you to have to justify why you're unhappy with something. I don't want you to justify why you're not wearing a mask. I'm not allowed to ask you. I'm trying to I think. just want you to tell me. More that There's no timeline. The, the long-term value and, and where I think the Lifetime begins, value. Lifetime, yeah. The, where, where people get caught is they're, they're too focused on the transactional component. and, and uh, Why are they focused on the transaction? What do you think causes that? Uh, you know, fear, fear of failure, the immediacy of I need this now. I, I've counted but, my uh, eggs yeah. <laughs> before they See, hatch. for a retailer, their first instinct, I can tell you, being a retailer, been a retailer my whole life, the minute someone says return, I think about money. I got to give you your money back. But now it's my right? money. <laughs> right. And that's my money. Not your money. It's my money. Now I got to give you my money. Right? And so we get caught up in this crazy BS of, I mean, absolute lunacy with some of these return policies that we see. Your return policy should be pretty simple. You're not happy. I'm not happy. Yeah. Don't care what it costs. Doesn't matter to me. That is not what's important to me. If your first, if what's important to you is the revenue, you've already lost this game and you will not succeed. Yeah. And if you want to breed loyalty in your store, Stop making your customer jump through a hoop when they're unhappy. This is mostly on you, not on them anyways. And you, right? you've got history and experience on your side. You, you've seen, is it fair to say that the, the, the tougher the return policy, the worse the performance, so like you're- 100%. Across yeah. the board. Yeah, yeah. And, it's, and, and again, you know, there, this should be a no questions asked. If you wanna inspire loyalty, if you wanna drive loyalty, do things for your customer that tells them you love and trust them, not that you don't trust them. Why are you bringing this back? Tell me why I don't trust that it doesn't fit. I don't trust you didn't wear it to a cocktail party. Hey, you know what? At the end of the day, do I really care what happened to it? No, I just want you to be happy so that when you leave here, you think good things of me, not, man, that guy was an asshole. Yep. Right? No, they were terrible. Uh, I got Rob, what I wanted. Gosh, but I had guy. to fight. I had to fight with them uh, to get what I. And you know what? Let me get my manager. The worst, oh, <laughs> worst four or five words ever spoken in retail. Let me get my manager. 
you don't care enough to just deal with this yourself or worse your manager your manager's manager have, has not empowered you to satisfy me but they've empowered you to oversell me stuff they've empowered you you know to take money out of my pocket but not put it back when it was a mistake right. so you know i mean i go on return policies all day long oh, pretty simple. you're not happy i'm not happy don't matter what it costs me to take I it. I promise down. we will return to the return policy subject <laughs> again and again.